whole idea of this project is to make something long lasting and sustainable. Not for people just to have a meal for today, but to drought proof 1,275 families that are in this area. The 1,275 families are spread out over four villages and we're just starting with those four to try to put one farm in each village. In this area, there is some families who always get a me one meal at a day. But uh, we believe at the time we get food in the farm, uh, all the community will benefit and get these three meals per day. So a beautiful thing about this project is it's managed by a local church. Glory Outreach Ministries is a local Kenyan Turkanan organization run by Benson and Jenica. And it spawned out of Benson as an evangelist, reaching the villages around here and bringing them to Jesus. God uses everyone, no one who is special. We have planted churches, we have preached the gospel. And the Lord, as the Lord of hope, he has given our people hope. And we had this vision of providing, to provide food for each family. Because most of our people, they depend on handouts. They are given uh, relief food. So we asked the Christian leaders, we came with an idea that God has blessed this soil and you can do something with your hand. Crossroads helped us with a long-lasting solution to hunger. So that's why we, we came up with this vision. By using solar-powered pumps, we're lifting the water up out of the ground, storing it in tanks, and that's feeding a distribution system of pipes. The ultimate dream is to have 10 farms. Right now, we're working on four, all at different stages. The Lobero farm below us is now harvesting crops, actually harvesting some sorghum, some maize, cow peas. And we go down and walk through these gardens now and we see people with smiles on their faces and we hear chatter throughout the gardens. Our next farm is Essigate Farm. We have a borehole drilled. We're ready to put pipes in the ground to bring water to all corners. We're here at Essigate Farm, working on clearing all the native vegetation burning the roots, putting in sweat equity to lay out this land that will ultimately be a sustainable food source for them. The next farm is Eskalele Farm. It's been completely cleared, a borehole is drilled, we're just wanting to put a solar pump in, raising money for that. And the last farm is completely cleared, we're just waiting on funding to drill a well to provide water for them to start gardening. This is our farm. When we start, we start without anything, this farm of mine. When it is like this, I will eat, I will sell to buy my clothes, I will be rich. <laughs> will be rich. Because I will have maize, I will sit potatoes, I will eat and I will sell if there is many. I will be able. Whatever you can see behind there, these are the farms that Jimba have helped us. Thank you very much and thank you, thank you, thank you forever. Thank you very much. God bless you. What a privilege to see what's happened so far. This project couldn't have happened without the help of so many volunteers. People sacrificing to offer their skills and their talents to make this project happen. You come to serve, you come to help, but in the end uh, you just feel so blessed because of it and you feel like uh, that they've been blessing you throughout the whole experience. Well, our time here is very minimal, it's only a week, but the impact that it has over here for the locals, for the people here, is massive. And it's not over, we still need your help, we still need your financial support to drought-proof this region into the future.